Hi everybody and welcome back to Relax My Dog. Today me and Milo are going to be talking about a very common topic and that is what is kennel cough. Now kennel cough is very very popular amongst dogs so today we're going to be talking about what that is and what treatment you can get etc. So like I say if you would like to learn a little bit more about that definitely do stay tuned for this video. Before we do get started though definitely do go down below to the comments and let me know a fact you know about your dog whether that is what their favourite toy is, what their favourite food is let me know all about your dog down below in the comments and if they have had kennel cough in the past as well. But for now, let's just jump straight in. The first thing we're going to talk about is what is kennel cough. Now, kennel cough is an upper respiratory infection. What that sounds like is sort of like your dog is choking. It is a very, very forceful cough that your dog is trying to bring up. And actually, most of the time, it sounds a lot worse than it actually is. And sometimes people actually say it sounds like a goose honk as well. I've actually never ever seen a kennel cough. Marla's never had it, although I don't think he's had it. Um, I've never had any other dogs that have ever had it before. So, so kennel cough is actually caused very much like a classic human cold as that can be sort of caught from many different viruses so can a kennel cough and there is actually a most common cause for this kennel cough i don't actually know how to say it because it is a very very long word i'm actually just going to pop it here for you guys to read if you know what that says let me know down below because i cannot pronounce that word but that is the most common culprit for kennel cough and you guys are probably wondering, how do your dogs get it? Now, most dogs can actually catch kennel cough when they breathe in bacteria or virus particles. And they are much, much more likely to catch that in many different factors and different environments as well. For example, dogs are very, very likely to get kennel cough with exposure to crowded and poorly ventilated conditions, much like a kennel, which is why they have the name kennel cough. They can also get it when they are in cold temperatures and also if they have exposure to dust or cigarette smoke as well which is something that a lot of people don't really understand and as well they can also get it through travel induced stress. Now obviously there are many different symptoms to what you can experience with your dog when they do have kennel cough. Obviously the most likely one is that they are coughing but other ones can include sneezing, a runny nose and also eye discharge as well so definitely do be aware of that. Now in terms of treatment most of the time you you don't actually need treatment dogs can actually get over it on their own it's not really something you need to take them to the vets unless you are very very concerned over the kennel cough however if you would like to speed up the process you can pop to the vets and they will give you medication to speed that up but like i say most of the times that dogs can actually get over it on their own and normally dogs can recover within about three weeks although obviously if your dog is older it may take a longer amount of time plus if your dog is ill in other areas it might take them longer to get over as well but that is it for this week's video i hope you learned a little bit more about kennel cough and what you guys it can look out for with your dogs like i said i've never experienced it myself i've been quite lucky with that but do let me know has your dog ever had kennel cough or are you worried that your dog has at the moment and that's why you decided to check out this video don't forget to give this video a big big thumbs up if you enjoyed it also don't forget to comment down below letting me know a different fact about your dog like i said earlier and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you would like to also don't forget to enter our gorgeous little t-shirt to give away all you need to do to win one of these t-shirts is pop over to instagram post a picture of your dog and tag us at relax my dog and you have entered it really is that simple and you could be a very very proud owner of one of these stunning little relax my dog t-shirts also don't forget when you are subscribing down below don't forget to click the little notification bell next door to that that'll just make sure you're notified every single time we upload a new video giving you extra chances of winning a t-shirt and also just staying up to date with our videos as well thank you so so much for watching guys and me and miley here we'll see you next week for next week's video Bye.